This is Aaron, 30 years old. He has stomach pain, which began 10 years ago. He experiences hunger pains. He feels gurgling noises on his stomach. He also feels the constant movement of his gut. He has diarrhea and mucus in stool. After diagnostic tests, the doctor found out that Aaron has hyperchlorhydria, elevated mast cells, aphthous ulcer in small intestine, positive for candida, and SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, he has no H. pylori. He has no Crohn's disease. What is the cause of Aaron 10-year stomach pain? Aaron admitted that after he injects steroid for building his muscle, he experienced sudden stomach pain when he wakes up in the morning. Steroid increases hydrochloric acid in the stomach. Excessive hydrochloric acid is called hyperchlorhydria. When there is excessive amount of hydrochloric acid, it starts to damage stomach wall or the mucosa, causing ulcer. The excessive hydrochloric acid will not only affect the stomach, but also small intestine, causing aphthous ulcer. This results to pain because underneath the mucosa are nerves. Elevated mast cell is a normal body response when the body detects foreign substance like steroid. The body will produce mast cells when the person has allergy or sensitivity to a particular substance. Aaron used injectable steroid. The mast cells are located in the dermis and mucosa lining of the organ. Candida albicans is normally harmless yeast, saprophyte, found in your intestine. But this organism goes wild when its competitors, the normal bacteria of the intestine, are killed by long-term use of antibiotics. This enables candida to greatly increase in number. Several prescription drugs cause yeast infection. One of the root causes of SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, is antibiotic and steroid medications. Aaron admitted that he used antibiotics for his condition for many years. 1. Decrease the production of hydrochloric acid in the stomach, so it stops damaging the gastrointestinal tract. Slippery elm, raspberry, comfrey leaves, flaxseed, and wood betony act as antiacids. These antiacids go with ginger to accentuate the effect. Demulcent herbs are compatible with all other herbs. 2. Regenerate mucosa lining of gastrointestinal tract to protect the underlying structures like nerves that causes him extreme pain. Aloe vera, kelp, licorice root, and psyllium seed are demulcents, which soften and relieve irritation of mucous membrane of gastrointestinal tract. 3. Restore gut microbiome to treat candida albicans and SIBO. Garlic, cabbage, turnips, kale, and collards inhibit candida growth. Brown rice, whole grains, beans, and vegetables are safe foods. When you have candida, just avoid peanuts. Yeast thrives on sugars and carbohydrates. So avoid cheese, milk, dried fruit, mushrooms, fermented foods, gluten grains, and chocolate. Avoid antibiotics and steroids because they destroy the competing bacteria and allow candida to overgrow. Garlic is antifungal and antibacterial. Some doctors might choose to use antibiotics to treat SIBO. The antibiotics that are commonly used to treat SIBO include Rifaximin, 550 mg three times a day, Neomycin, 500 mg twice daily, and Cipro, 250 mg twice daily, for 7 to 14 days. If you do start a course of antibiotics, don't forget to take probiotics, both during and after treatment, to prevent further bacterial imbalance and fungal overgrowth. If you find this video helpful, please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe. To learn more, get the full course. This course will give you a complete understanding on how our body function in order to cure your illness today in a simple and holistic manner.